People often say that I talk rubbish, but don't let that picture fool you. I'm here to talk today to the people of Belfast to find out what their pet peeve is. Statistics show that queuing is the number one grievance that people have in Northern Ireland. So I'm going to find out exactly what it is that gets under people's skin and makes them go crazy. Irritation. Let's go. What is your pet peeve? What annoys you? What irritates you in life? Um, well, I really shouldn't say this, but Go it's on. not their fault. Cyclists. Cyclists? Why do cyclists annoy you? Because they keep the traffic back. Because, but that's not their fault because there aren't enough cycling lanes. Yeah. I, I know cyclists, but they really do quite annoy me. So in your car, would you like to just kind of drive over them if you could? Oh no, I don't... <laughs> It's not like that. Right. Oh no, I wouldn't do that. Uh, I I love animals and all that kind of thing. Yes, I don't. I haven't seen too many animals on bicycles, oh, mind you. No, but I wouldn't hurt anything. Okay, let's say you're in a queue and I go like this. Oh. Would that annoy you? Yeah. What would you do? Oh. Disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah. Yes. Would you tap me in the shoulder? Go on, pretend. <laughs> what is your pet peeve in life? What annoys you? Strangers coming up and talking to you. I've had that one already. Can you pick a new... <laughs> Apparently a recent poll said Northern Irish people find queuing the most annoying thing. Talking loudly on the phone is number two in a public place. And number three is eating noisily. Would any of those three go for you? Eating noisily. So you eat silently? Try to. Let, let's see you eat a bit of the sandwich. Go on. <laughs> go on. And let's see how quietly you can do it. I'm going to listen. Go on. How are you? Is there anything that really irritates you in life? <laughs> Your girlfriend? Oh, you can't say that. What about you? What irritates you in life? Is it him? <laughs> Hello there, guys. You have got interesting hair. I was just commenting on that. What if I was interviewing you and I kept doing that? My mic. That would piss me off. <laughs> yeah. What would you do? Um, nail biting. Nail biting. Show me your nails. Now they're not that long. Yeah. I Show know. the camera. They're nice and purple, actually. Yeah. So you think that's annoying when you see other people bite yeah. your your nails, and you would never do that. No. <laughs> We're still asking, what is your pet peeve? What does pet peeve mean? Um, something that irritates you. That's right. So, what irritates you? What irks you in life? Um, bad hair days. Bad hair days. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. What's your hair doing today? Bad hair day. <laughs> is it? It's a bit... Turn around. Yeah, it's okay. It's got a bit of red in it. Yeah. It What's its natural colour? Is it ginger? Yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Always die if it's ginger. That's the rule. Is there anything that particularly peeves you? Anything that irritates you in life? Oh, God, no, that's a trick question. Are you thinking of your pet <laughs> no, a pet peeve, <laughs> anything at all. Passing, passing, sorry. <laughs> Is that a politician? Is that a politician I've just spoken to? Is he a politician? I don't know. I don't do politics. I just do dancing and fun. And what do you think of mine, by the way? Oh, it's lovely. Really? I mean, be honest. Be completely honest. It is lovely, yeah. Thank you very much. I like you. <laughs> Just a quick question. What's your pet peeve? I'll walk with you. Anything that really annoys you in life? On my way to work, sorry. Okay, he's on his way to work. Excuse me, what do you find annoying in life? Uh, Spracken Sie... No, nine Spracken Sie Deutsch. Yes. <laughs> so we're kind of stuck. Uh, je parle un peu de français. Mademoiselle? Mademoiselle. Madame, big wave, big wave, both together. Come on, please. Yes, that's it. Look excited. Tell the camera, I'm a superstar. No, I'm a superstar. Point at the camera and mean it. Come on. I'm a superstar. I'm a superstar. There it is. Bus drivers. Okay, why bus drivers? A strange choice. Well, um, I just don't think they have any personality. I think they're very rude. I've never met a bus driver that's been particularly pleasant. I think they're very ignorant. And to be honest with you, I think the prices of buses now are scandalous. So all in all, I'm not really very happy with the public transport system. Just are you going to play the mouth organ? That would be so cool. <laughs> is that what that is? No. Go on, play the mouth organ for us. No. It's a mouth organ. <laughs> play it. No. Is it a phone that doubles as a mouth organ? Right. Let's pretend, if you don't mind, you're driving a bus now. Yep, okay. okay. Drive the bus. Yep, I'm driving the bus. I'm going to get on. Okay. 
Hello there, I'd like to go to the city centre. How much is that, please? No problem. That's uh, 1.60, please. I think I've got it here. Oh, look, I've only got a £20 note. Pretend that's a £20 note, it isn't. That's no problem at all. I have change here for you, sir. Don't you worry. Really? That's not a note? That. Not at all, in the slightest. No problem, because at the end of the day, I am providing a public service, and if that's what you have, it's legal tender, and I have to provide for that also. Thank, thank you very thank you much. much. There's your change, sir. Have a nice trip. Thank you. I shall. Is now, I'm not quite fun? sure how to get off the stop. I don't know where it is. Will you help me, sir? Absolutely. When we're approaching your stop, I will give you a quick shout. If you sit, sit quite close to the front, I'll be able to let you know as soon as we get there. I also have a slight incontinence problem. Will that be an issue? <laughs> maybe not for me, but maybe for the rest of the passengers, possibly. Um, if you do need to stop at any stage, please let me know and we'll try to accommodate you as best we can. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm okay. I really like your nose ring. Thank you. Can I lick it? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm getting a bit... Uh, no, I might have to... Right, well, we'll stop the bus and let you out. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. So, Robin, we've been on the streets of Belfast to find out what the pet peeves of the people are. We found out rudeness, bus drivers, and queuing, among many, many others. My only pet peeve is that I don't have a beautiful co-presenter to work with. But you never know what might turn up. Hello there. Hi. What's your name? Um, I'm Alison. Good. 